traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I've been asked to uh, go through the methodology of this uh, trade here that we've been watching here in gold. As you can see here, gold has been in a very strong downtrend for the past 13 days. Uh, the first suspect up here was when we made the 61% retracement of the high and 78% retracement of this smaller high right here. But the real key was right here when we hit the 382. We hit it two days in a row at that 2030 level. And that said that we we're most probably getting ready to go down to this area of 1975. Well, last night at 2.30, well, it was 2.30 this morning, 5.30 New York time. My beepers started saying, wake up, wake up. Being the light sleeper that I'm in, or that I am, I came in and I saw what was happening with the gold and it stopped right at our number 1975 the low was 197460 and immediately rallied up to 1981 so i said to myself well self let's pay attention to what's going on here today because it got here very very quickly and i don't like to risk a whole lot in some of these things so what i did was i took the gold and i put it on a, a shorter time frame so that I could see what was happening. And this is what I came up with. I'm gonna bring this up to you so you'll be able to see it. Whoopsie, Daisy, Daisy hit the wrong button. There's the one we wanna hit. Now what you're looking at now, this is a 15 minute chart. I believe in the gold, is it the 15? Nope, it's only four minute. But here was when it hit the exact number, as you can see, that was the, the ABCD pattern, the 1.618 expansion, Everything was lined up for that. And so I watched it for about a half an hour. And when I saw that this hit the exact 382 of that smaller high right here, I sent out a special video saying, raise your stop to $2 under this. You don't have to risk $10. All you have to do is risk two. And as you can see, each of these 382s all the way down kept cascading down. That's one of the advantages of you know, the, some of these patterns that we have. In fact, all of the patterns is when they fail. And when they fail, you don't want to stand in front of it. So our original price objective here was at 1975. But we also talked about the fact that there was a really strong probability that gold could hit the 1905. I've posted that so many times in the room, I don't want to post it again. But you can see here the 382 rallies are short term, but each of them has only been 382. And so we'll be looking for a place to, to go short, getting ready to go down to that 1905 level, because that's where the pedal is going to meet the metal, as they say in the trade. And that's what we want to be looking for. Very, very important. If you remember last week, and we were quite excited about this because we were looking at silver because silver went right exactly to the 382 retracement there at uh, 2391. It rallied 40 cents, and now you can see it is cascading down through there. That's why we mentioned if silver goes a penny below that, there's something wrong. And that's what you got to know is when these patterns fail, you got to get out of Dodge. You don't want to stand in front of it. Just to give you an example of what happened to silver as it was going through this, I keep pressing the wrong button. And I <coughs> Sorry, folks. And, uh, okay, let's get up here. Oh, by the way, someone asked me, why do I, I what do I do when I have a, a, a trade that I'm so po uh, positive about? 
is I want to uh, be ready to see how it acts. I did that. I'll show you the second one here in just a minute because we had two major trades here being uh, pr processed. You'll notice here in the silver on the left-hand side there, you see the three drive to a top pattern. That's the one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, also known as a three drive to a top. Then you see the Gartley, then you see the 382, and then you had another 382, and then another 382, and another 382, and it was telling you that the price of silver is still cascading to the downside. The reason why I have my limit mind is set is when I have something that I think is relatively important, I set it at a very loud noise so that when it hits, I will be able to see how the market acts when it hacks. And so what I wanted to do was to show you today, the same time, just a little bit after the, so, uh, the gold, we had a buy signal that we've been waiting for for just about two and a half weeks. Get triggered here in gold. At, <laughs> well, it's golden color. Our, our Christmas corn, December corn, made a low of uh, 40 uh, 191 and we had a buy order at 4192 that was the exact 78 percent level since that time the market rallied up to 501 and then it's back backed off a little bit it's at 501 now the same thing happened as soon as it hit this number it rallied 12 cents and at the same time i made a video saying if it goes below here by one penny get out of dodge so we're going to risk only 50 dollars in the corn so far it's working uh, to the tune of $500, but that could be gone by the time I finish this sentence. So that's what we try to do is when we monitor these patterns because we, we leave very strongly that when they occur and when they occur, it really makes you uh, give you a warm, cushy feeling uh, as we see these things. Now we're having a big move up here in the stock market, and we're going to be talking about that uh, in just a little bit, but we, since we talk about these numbers quite a bit, the 382 numbers, those of you that may or may not be a non-believer, but remember today is the 18th of May. Is that correct, folks? If you add one day to that, that gets you to the 19th of May. Whoop, 18th of May, 19th is tomorrow. And as you put this up here, you'll be able to see, look at the low. There was a low yesterday in on May 17th, and look at the low today, exactly to the exact 382 of the low from over here. And of course, we went up to this level right here. We haven't quite got to our objective up here, <clears throat> which we'll go through when we come back from the next break. I wanted to go through the stock indices because as Basil's favorite words is bifurcated. Well, I don't know if it is or not, but my favorite Basil word is bifurcated. And boy, we've got a bifurcated market today. That's for sure. We've got the, uh, the only two indexes up are the S&P and the NASDAQ. The Dow Jones and Russell are going, uh, you know, a lot lower. So what we'll do when we come back from our break here, we're going to talk about these stock indices and show you that there's only, a, that, well, it's, We've been through this again, but it's so important. we got to go through it because we're real close to something really dramatic, in my opinion. And remember, if you pay more than a dime, you paid nine cents too much. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
DFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the NASDAQ, unless you're on a uh, Siberian island somewhere uh, up in northern Russia, uh, you can see that this thing is absolutely going ballistic. Now, this is being done. Remember, the NASDAQ is about 12 stocks, but you remember yesterday we were looking at one that uh, we thought was making a high. Just let me show you. This is NVIDIA, folks. This is why God gave us stops. And if you'll notice here, we had a really nice three drive to a top pattern right here. And you can see what happened. And it is still going higher. It just exploding. Everybody has to have it now. And the reasoning is, is they're supposed to be related to artificial intelligence. Well, part of it is, but Meta is involved with it. And so is Google. So is Apple. So a lot of these stocks are all reacting to the same thing. And it's in the news about how spectacular all of these things are here's apple now you'll notice apple being shut the front door and razor and i keep hitting that wrong button and here we go and here we go right here you'll be able to see apple here in just a second apple is doing the same thing and i wanted to do one other one so that you could see how they're all moving and that's why the index is going uh squishy bucketati up to the upside and that's why it's uh, so very very important. And here is Softy. He's got one of the very best uh, chat uh, um, AI programs. In fact, many people think they're going to be banned, but frankly, I don't think they can because they're too valuable uh, in the long term. You'll notice here they were up into some real strong resistance up here, but again, we could see a move like we saw in NVIDIA where it was, looks like it's topping at 299 and it's now $23 a share higher. Now, remember, what goes up, what can come down. In fact, we've never seen one that hasn't come down. But this might be the first one, but we'll be watching it, uh, you know, very, very closely to see uh, what is going on. But that long-term weekly chart here, we'll get this up here, so write it down, and we'll see how it gets there. But this is a weekly. I double-checked the numbers. And uh, remember, folks, we were short this. 200 points lower and only we we took a uh, $400 loss on that 40 points let's try it again Larry 80 
80 points. We lost $800 on that. And now it's 200 points higher than where we got out. If this is not a perfect example of why you should use stops, then take me out and strap me to the old tree and give me a good whipping because uh, this is one of the reasons why you got to do it. You don't know what's going to happen to this. All these people see this stuff moving at one time and they all start to buy. That sets up a vacuum. It's just nothing but bids out there. And, of course, it's when the selling comes in, it'll be just the reverse. It'll drop quite a bit. But who knows how high it's going to go. And that's what you got to remember, folks. It's <laughs> You've got to put your stop in because if you don't, you're just telling the market that I know more than you do. And that's not a very, very good thing. Look at if you'd have been long silver or long gold and didn't put a stop in. Remember one of our one of our best trades that we talked about here for the past well, it's been at least two weeks, is the euro yeah, it has been two weeks. It's been the euro. And that we said with the euro, if the euro is going to do this, that means a dollar is going to strengthen, and that means silver and gold are most probably going to drop. And that's why you had your beautiful 61% retracement up here. It had $2,500 in it in three days. And, uh, and it is still going down, as you can see from the next chart. And I believe it's here somewhere. Uh, um, yep, yeah, yeah, here it is right here. You'll be able to see. And what, what, is, what has been happening? <sighs> I'm attacked, I'm attacked to this red button down here, folks, so bear with me a second. This happens to be the euro on the half-hour chart, and as you can see here, it's been going down on the 382s all the way down, and now we're getting down to this level right here, folks. This is going to be uh, 106 and change, 106.5, okay? It's about uh, 80 pips from where we are right now. When we get to this level right here, this is going to be the 78% level. Of the see, we've already we're already through this level here. We're already through this one. So the reason why I marked that is you got double a b uh, double 1.618s there. You got this one and that one. So you've got a double 1.618, and you have the a b c d structure to the downside. There's there's a b c d. So we should get a bounce from that level, but that's it might be just a little tiny bounce and then far lower. So that's what you've got to decide is how much you have to risk. Now, the euro being the most actively traded thing in the world is the best thing to learn how to trade. When we do the uh, the Floor Traders Handbook, we did 30,000 samples of ABCD patterns using 30-minute charts to come up with these numbers. And they know that they work 61% of the time. They pay off one to three times or more on what the, the, uh, what your risk is. And you're still right 61% of the time. And the longest string of losers we had, I believe, was seven. And the longest string of winners we had was 19. But that puts the odds in your favor. That's all it is, folks. It's small, all probability, nothing fancy. And that's what you're trying to do is to line that up. That's all you're trying to do. And remember, you can look. You can take losses. There's no problem about that. That just sets you up for the next winning trade. That's really all it's that's really what it's all about. If you can do that, then you've got some stuff that'll really get you uh, you know moving in the right directions and that that's what you're trying to do. If you're risk averse, in other words, keep your risk as small as possible within realm. I mean, you can't put it in for $100, but you know anybody can take a risk of 4, 500, even $1,000. But you put in a stop and and you, you lose $3,500 on a trade, that's not a good trade. You know that's it, and these numbers are very, very helpful. That's why we talk to about talk to you. We talk about them every day here to get you to to see you know what these numbers are and and how they're going to work. Now this is Thursday, right? And what do you have right after Thursday? Johnny's got his hand up, and he's guessed correctly again. Thank you, Johnny. Tomorrow will be Friday, and we've got Norm Winsky today going to be telling us about some big astro stuff that's coming up. And we also know that on the 19th of this month, we have Mercury going retrograde, which uh, it's an 88-day cycle. And that was one that Frank Tauscher, one of the greatest traders I ever met. In fact, he was the greatest trader I ever met, even better than Amos Hostetter. I uh, don't say that, Larry, because Amos was there. They were equal. They were equal. But uh, we've got a big day coming up, and we've got a big, big number 
up here to look at tomorrow. So we want to remember, remember, we're not going to be doing the NASDAQ. We're going to be doing the S&P and the Dow Jones. And we're going to show those on the second half of the show here, uh, what those different indices are doing. Because you can see it's just one market that's really going nuts to the upside, and that is the uh, NASDAQ. So we're going to have Norm Winsky showing up here in just a short period of time. And tomorrow our guest will be Bill Meridian of, Ast of uh, Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria. He he's in travel mode now, so hopefully we'll have him in uh, house. And so let's get ready for our next guest, Norm Winsky, 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky of Astro Trends, Naples, Florida, on the line and in the house. Norm, how are you? Okay, Larry. Can you hear me okay? 10-4, we're ready to go. Please give it a go and start right now. All right. Just wanted to make sure because I'm on a new computer and I'm a little nervous about whether this is going to work or not, right? All right, so I got my notes up there. Hopefully, all, everybody can see my notes. And I was last on your show on April 17th, 
and we uh, gave you these forecast points here and these markets. I'll run through them quickly. I would recommend maybe take a screenshot or something so you can follow along more easily. Uh, the night of the 19th of April, we had a solar eclipse in the sign of Aries, which is, you know, a solar eclipse is just a special kind of new moon. So anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we look at your financials, grains, and precious metals. And so we'll be reviewing those for the night of the 19th, the opening of the 20th. The night of the 20th, AC is after the close, so that's that night into the next day's opening. We had Mercury in the sign of Taurus turn retrograde. And so anytime we have Mercury, we have the grains, your corn, soybeans, wheat. And then because it was in the sign of Taurus the bull, that's the cotton, a cattle, and cotton. Then we had a couple of points to the U.S. chart. That's based on where the planets were on July the 4th, 1776. And we had a U.S. point there for the night of the two points for the night of the 21st into the opening of the 22nd, uh, if that's uh, uh, right on the calendar there, I think so. And then the night of the 25th, we had another U.S. point. And then we had a double whammy the afternoon of the 28th of April when we had uh, Helio. That's from the point of view of the sun, Saturn changing signs and going into Pisces. And that's for your cocoa, coffee, hogs, oil, soybeans, tea bonds. And then only also that afternoon we have Pluto in the sign of Aquarius turning retrograde. That's one of my top things on the plants to change from direct to retrograde or retrograde to direct. And that's uh, one of my top, very top things. And that's uh, we're going to be looking at cocoa, copper, hogs, and tea bonds. So here's the charts now. We had a bad streak here for the grains, which was on your rather unusual. All right, so there's my two points there for the. I was, by the way, Mercury retrograde is usually not always, but usually bearish for the grains. So I was, and we had a new moon, which is also one of the two top things for the grains are the moon and Mercury. Those are the two top short -term, short to intermediate term timing factors for the grains. And uh, so I was expecting that probably a, a high here with these grains had been trading at, you know, uh, persistently high prices, you know, at the top of their historical range. So I was, I was leaning toward a low high. Unfortunately, the market corn and, as you'll see, beans and wheat all topped a day or two early. And so there's my two points there. And the top was over here on the 18th. So we kind of missed the train there. So we got two misses there on the corn, two misses on the beans. And, oh, we did have one positive one on the soybeans where we had soybeans uh, due for a turn here on the afternoon, the 28th. And there was a little short term low there and a, and a bounce there. So you did have one positive thing for the beans and then two misses for the wheat. But from that point on, it was pretty smooth sailing. Here we had the cattle and mercury in Taurus, the bull, turning retrograde. And you had a little short-term top there for a nice one-day dip there. And so you could have made a little money there. Cotton on the same uh, frequency, mercury turning retrograde in Taurus. And you had a little pop-up low and then a pop-up there. And here's cocoa on the afternoon of the 28th. We had two uh, two hits there, for, uh, potential hits there for that. And as you can see, it topped the next day and then had a nice decline. Uh, hogs were nearly perfect. The afternoon of the 28th there, that was a beautiful top. And then a big decline in the hogs. Hogs had a drop there and were looking for a trough, Larry. That's a little <laughs> hog humor there, Larry. Okay. And then the coffee dropped uh, here. Uh, oh, here we are. After the 28th, also on that same cycle for coffee. And that did make a little bit of a low there and had a little bit of pop up there. So you got a chance to little, make a little bit of money. Crude oil had a pop up here into that. It was on the same cycle as those other uh, afternoon the 28th. You had a pop up here into the 28th. And that was a nice top there. And then a big drop in the crude oil for a while. That was over four or five days. That dropped like about $14, it looks like. And then the copper uh, topped the next day. And then had a, a bit of a decline, so you had a chance to make some money there. And here's silver, rallied into the moon, and then had a bit of a decline, so you had a chance to make some money there. Gold was just shopping sideways, so 
you know, it's Newton's law for every action, opposite equal reaction. We're looking to sell the strength or buy the weakness. And if it's going sideways, the opposite sideways, it's just more sideways. So we don't do sideways. That's a yellow box. We took a, took a pass there. Here's the S&P. Did pretty well here. It had a jolt climb into the moon. And then a pop-up into, uh, and then we went sideways for Mercury retrograde. Then we had a, a couple, oh yeah, we had a couple uh, hits for the U.S. chart there over the weekend of the 21st. And right there, and so on the opening of the 24th, that was a Monday, you would have uh, been looking to sell there. And then you had a nice decline into our next window right there, the 26th. Uh, the night of the 25th, sorry, the night of the 25th, opening 26th. And then a big rally into our next window was the afternoon of the 28th and over the weekend of the 28th. And uh, we didn't get in the May, obviously, because I hadn't written the May letter yet. But we did have, as you will see, I did have the, oh, I did mention Pluto turning retrograde over the 28th weekend. And as you can see there on the next day, we made a very nice top there on the S&P. Here's the bonds. We're pretty nearly perfect. We had the moon there for a low. And then another low here over with the uh, two U.S. points for the weekend of the 21st and then rallied up into our uh, night of the 25th, opening the 26th for a top and then pulled back and then rallied back up to the afternoon of the 28th right there with the two, top, two hits there for six points there. Here's the U.S. dollar. We had four points for the U.S. dollar. There's the moon. And you had a little bit of a low here. It took a, it went a little bit against you there for a day and then popped up for into the next window, which was the night of the 25th, opening 26th, and for a top there. So those all work too. So if you add up the green arrows and red, and red arrows, you got 27 winners, six misses out of 33 for 81.82%. Here's, I just said, uh, this is uh, ex officio. And that I didn't give a to give this out last time. I talked about as general principle, you know, my version of the Bradley model, and I do some things that Bradley doesn't do. And it's uh, here's a here's a demonstration here. You kind of uh, near this uh, Mercury retrograde, and that there you had probably an inversion there of the energy. I had an inversion here for these last two days that I didn't see coming. But overall, this is pretty good, except for the last two days. Uh, the month this was for May. Uh, this is for uh, April. April, I'm getting my months mixed up. Okay. And here's some uh, the interesting points here. There's a full moon there, and here's Mercury elongation and so forth. There's Venus gotta, very and so forth. We have to pay a few bills, Norm. So stay with us, okay? okay? We'll be right back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Okay, can you continue, please? Well, thank you, Larry. Okay, we're going to talk about the future now. What just happened and what's coming up the next few days. Uh, I just want to point out, I forgot, you always mentioned, I forgot to mention, that the uh, these different astro points, uh, the stock market is the big basket of everything. Therefore, it, it potentially responds to all these points, whereas commodities are narrow filters and only respond to certain factors. So if I give a astro point here, just assume it's uh, the stock market may be in, uh, affected. You know, okay. So right. we, last night we had uh, yeah, that's right. After the close of the seventeenth, last night we had Jupiter ninety to Pluto. So be looking. We were look, since we had a big update yesterday, look, looking for the potential. It's not a. It was, and I like to see, I know you do this too, Larry, I count consecutive days in one direction, and I like to see a nice string going into one of these windows, and that increases your probability that you're going to get a turn. Well, yesterday, mm -hmm. we had a one-day wonder, big up day, and so I think that might have been the second day, and so it was just kind of a one- or two-star deal out of five, you know? But anyway, you had the potential here for a short-term top today, and then if that were to occur, and then you got a pullback, then we have tomorrow morning, close to noon, Eastern time. We have a new moon, and there we go. We have financials, grains, precious metals, cattle, cotton. Uh, the one for the Jupiter-Pluto back here, that was for cattle, cocoa, copper, cotton, hogs, and teapot. And keep in mind, the stock market is in play potentially for all of these. We're looking, what do, you, what do I look for in a, in a, to, uh, for a good trade? We want to see the market going up or going down sideways is not, uh, you know, it's not good. You know, sideways, we're looking for a reversal and the opposite of sideways is just more sideways. Okay, so the night over the week, uh, the morning, uh, that's uh, tomorrow morning, actually uh, close to noon, we have the new moon. And then over the weekend, we'll have geocentric from the point of view of the Earth. Mars will be changing signs, going into Leo. So we have a set, of, a set up here between the new moon and Mars going into Leo for a possible change in trend for gold. You were talking about gold. And gold has been coming down. Maybe you'll get your uh, 1905 by Monday morning, and that could be a potentially good setup for a low. Would, would you uh, go along with that, Larry? Yes, sir. I sure would. Is it uh, Mercury uh, going retrograde tomorrow also on the 19th? No, no. Mercury went retrograde last month, and it turned direct. Uh, well, well, it turned direct. I mentioned that. It turned direct, uh, uh, I think, it was a, a week ago. It turned direct a week ago, right? Oh, That sorry, already happened. Okay. Yep. Now, what we're talking about is a new moon. The precious metals tend to turn it new moon, full moon. And then we also have Leo as a sign for gold. And Mars is going to be going into Leo. If you go back in early March, I think heliocentric Mars went into Leo in early March. And he had a big run in gold, I think, in, you know, for several weeks there in gold when, after Mars went into Helio. Mars went into Leo. So now we got the geo version of that with geo Mars going to Leo. So watch for corn is Leo. 
and gold is Leo. And then we have a U.S. point over the weekend, too. So we have U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. And in case for anybody who doesn't know me, is I'm new to them. Uh, I've been doing this a while, about 45, 50 years. Started uh, getting involved using the astrology to uh, invest and trade in the markets. And when I was in college back there in the good old Indiana State University in Terre Haute, Indiana, your hometown, Larry, and I did it well enough that led into my buying a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975, right out of college, one week out of school. I was on the floor there as a market ma member, market maker on the CBOE, and then later I went and traded for a while at the Board of Trade also, Chicago Board of Trade. So anyway, I've been doing this, and along the way, I always study whatever I could get my hands on. I've studied L.A. Wave, GAN, astrophysics, astrology. I have a background in music, uh, Fibonacci, anything. I like st stuff that's uh, naturally rooted, uh, you know, well, it's that's mm -hmm. redundant, rooted in, in nature, you know, has a connection mm -hmm. to nature, natural cycles, and so forth, you know? So anyway, uh, if you'd like uh, to uh, maybe have, uh, have some qu uh, any questions from the den there, Larry, I'll put yeah, my contact some, information some, up here. Someone in Arizona, he's raising his hand right now. It's me. Norm, given the fact that we have all these numbers and all these permutations that we have with all these planets, and we've got some really smart people out here from uh, Andrew Lowe, uh, MIT, and Harvard, and Indiana State, and a whole lot of other places, is there... Is there anyone that you know of that's really studying the astro uh, and to find out, you know, put odds in your favor, much like what you try to do? Do you know anybody else that does that? I know, you know, we, we hear from Bill Meridian, and uh, but Bill's more of a cycles uh, person. And then, of course, Tim, Tim Bost, who's been very good. Uh, is and, but there, and Do you know of any large corporations that are doing this? Because I, I personally think this is where the answer is. I've never found it, but that's where I think the answer lies is in the – in the planets because they're nothing more than days it's just calendar days that whole stuff so do, have you heard anything do you know anything about that well the best i can tell you is you probably are familiar with the renaissance hedge fund right yes oh yeah yeah you bet yeah well, you know they yeah. have an astrophysicist on their staff yeah you know uh, yeah simmons yes i'm sure i'm aware of that yes i certainly am yeah well that's the best i can bet yeah. they're very secretive there you know I tried oh, yeah. to contact them. They wouldn't talk to me. You know, it's probably mm -hmm. harder to get in. Probably harder to get in there than the CIA or something. You know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's not that's not such a good thing anyway. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. You know, they yeah. they're very secretive. They did amazingly. That that guy, Harvard astrophysicist, did do an interview a few years back. That I was just told, was shocked that he would even come out of the the closet there and talk to anybody. You know. Oh, wow. Um, uh, who knows? Anyway, we're going to Anyway, I'd be happy to talk to some folks, get you some free information, answer your questions, get you on board here, you can get your uh, accelerated learning here in a matter of a few weeks, or you could be uh, doing some advanced trading here and, and, and methodologies. And please okay. contact me. There's Norm at, uh, you can call me at 239-216-2578. My email is nwinski at yahoo.com, or you can call me on Skype at nwinski underscore digit one. Looking forward to helping some of your folks, Larry. Everybody well, have a great day and a great week ahead. You bet. Have a wonderful full moon tomorrow, Norm. Uh, I think that's a, is that a new moon? Yeah, it's a new moon. New Night. moon. New moon tomorrow? New moon, yep. Oh, okay. There you go. I always get it right within 14 days. Thank okay. you, my friend, and we'll have you on again soon. Okay? Okay. Very good, sir. Thanks a lot. Take care. You bet. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends, folks. Okay, we want to uh, cover some stock stuff when we come back from this other break that we're going to have because we've got a lot of things different in the market. Uh, we posted some of these charts that we're looking at, but I want to post uh, uh, several others, but the, the one – uh, well, we'll start out here with the Russell because that's been the, by far the weakest. This is about as up to date as I could get, folks. But as you can see here, the Russell has been uh, behind the eight ball for quite some time. And yesterday we reported from Bloomberg that all of the Russell 2000 stocks, if you added them up, doesn't equal the value of Apple. Now, that's one heck of an absolute observation that means something, in my opinion. So we'll be right back. 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a longer-term chart here, daily chart of the gold that we put in the newsletter this past week. All we were showing is that we were having equal moves coming down into this area right here. Folks, what Norm Winsky talked about here, to me, is very, very important. I don't understand the ramifications of it, but I've seen it in my life enough that I know you have to respect it. Um, when we have um, these gold things popping up with the sign of Leo, because Leo is the, the color for gold. I happen to be a Leo. And anyway, uh, when we have those like coming in at Mars and w whichever the other one was, when those signs are coming up at the same time that you're sitting at a potential account, that's where you really have a chance for the market to really move. Now, in order to prove that to yourself, you got to go back and look at some of these highs and see how close they were. Now, when I do the work, I don't I don't use any of that. I use AB equals CD, and then when I listen to uh, people like Norm and Tim Bost and Bill Meridian and uh, Shane Smolian, uh, the Wolf Trader, uh, then I says, okay, that gives me a, another type of an edge. But that's not the edge that I'm looking for. That edge I'm looking for is that ABCD and that magical number 
of 1.618. That's why today, when we went below 1975, which was a double 1.618 expansion number off of two previous highs and lows, that told me that that market was not ready to turn, and I didn't want to risk very much at all. And that's why I put the order in. The same thing in the corn. I bought the corn at uh, 92. It had a rally up to 502, 10 cents. And at that point, I said, put your stop one penny below. You're only going to be a farmer for 50 bucks. You're not going to risk very much. We did the same thing in beans the other day. Beans didn't work, and they're 25 cents lower than where we sold them. Now, someone's always asked me the question, why don't you go short when these things break? And folks, trying to contact Mark Douglas, but boy, it's difficult. But he tried for years to get me to do it. I just don't reverse very well. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. 